Hello viewers and my wonderful subscribers to Pastor Beam TV. Today we're dealing with Psalm 91. All of our help cometh from the Lord. And that's what Psalm 121 says to us. All of our help comes from the Lord. All of our help. And we're going to ensure we just focus today on Psalm 91. It's all about our help being in the Lord. Um, I first of all remind us of who we are. First Peter 2 and verse 9 says to us, it says, But you are a chosen generation. We have been chosen. A chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people that we may proclaim the praises of him who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. How precious we are. How dignified we are. Hallelujah. So, knowing that, we must ensure that we walk in Psalm 91. How do we walk in Psalm 91? It's all about trusting God. That is your anchor, your ever-present help. He's with you, no matter the situation. I'll be reading from the message translation. It says, He who sits down, in the high God's presence, spends the night in Shaddai's shadow. Where have you spent all your own time? Have you spent it in the presence of God? Have you been doing His will? Have you been satisfying His will? He says, if then if you've been doing that, He said, you will spend your night in Shaddai's shadow. Say this. We are making proclamation now. He says, God, you are my refuge. I trust in you. I am safe. Remember, you are peculiar. You are a chosen generation, royal priesthood. He says, recognize the fact that you are safe. And that's why we are doing this study on Psalm 91. You are safe. He says, say it. The Bible says, we shall decree a thing and it shall be established and light shall come upon our ways. So we are decreeing it that, God, you are my refuge. I trust in you. That's what the message translation enjoins us to do. I trust in you. I am safe. Says that's right. It rescues you from hidden traps. Shields you from deadly hazard. His huge outstretched and protects you. On under them, you are perfectly safe. Oh. If only you can trust God. There's no reason to be afraid. No reason to be afraid at all. I read on. It says, fear nothing. Not wild wolves at night. It means sleep and sleep well. Because you have Shaddai. You have Jehovah by your side. I read on. It says, not flying arrows in the day. Don't, don't, don't be afraid of flying arrows in the day. It says, not disease that sprouts through the darkness. Not disaster that erupts at I know. You should not be afraid or intimidated by all that. I read on. It says, even though others succumb all around, drop like flies right and left, no harm will even grace you. You are the chosen generation, remember, the royal priesthood, a peculiar people. You that you are watching me, you are peculiar, you are special to God. He said, with your eyes will you behold the reward of the wicked. That's what KJV says to us. That translation of the Bible says, with your eyes you will behold. So don't be moved. I read on, it says, you will stand on touch, watch it all from a distance, watch the wicked turn into corpses. He says, yes, because God is your refuge, the high God, your very own home. Remember, he says, he will dwell with you. He will meet his abode with you. He says, I am my father. And those, and we are talking about those who do his will. I read on, it says, evil can't get close to you. Harm can't get through the door. He orders his angels to guide you wherever you go. If you stumble, they will catch you up. 
King James says, you will not strike your feet against the stone. He will carry you. You will be lifted. He says, the job of this angel is to keep you from falling. You will walk unharmed among lions and snakes and kick young lions and serpents from the path. That means you will dismiss them. You overcame them, principalities and powers. You are overcome. Hallelujah. Because Christ is with you. I read on verse 14 of the message. It says, If you will hold on to me for dear life, says God, I will get you out of any trouble. Hallelujah. I will give you the best of care. If you will only get to know and trust me. The Bible lets us know in Isaiah 26 and 3. Say, Thou shalt put in perfect peace whose heart is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Do you trust God enough? Hallelujah. Trust him. Be confident because of who you are. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. You are peculiar. You are a chosen generation, a peculiar people. You are the chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people to show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness, out of darkness, out of darkness, into his marvelous light, into his marvelous light. The word of God shows us the light, illuminates for us how much of God's presence, protection, and preservation we enjoy because we are his own. He says, call on me, I will answer. Be at your side in bad times. I will rescue you, then throw you a party. That means he will make a show off of you, a display of his splendor in your life. I read on, he says, I will give you a long life, give you a long drink of salvation. Salvation package, blessing, prosperity, abundance, good health. Hallelujah, all will be yours because you have put your trust in Jehovah. Being confident that he's with you, he will not leave you, nor forsake you. He will uphold you with his right hand of righteousness. Isaiah 41 10 says to us, He says, Fear not, for I'm with you. Do not be afraid, for I'm your God. I will help you. He says, I would uphold you with my right hand of righteousness. He doesn't feel. Same thing he repeated in, this, in, 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 in verse 13 of the same book. God is not in the business of lying. The Bible says fear is a torment. Don't be tormented. Because the Bible says they that observe lying, lying vanity, they, they forsake their own mercy. Where is your gaze? Let your gaze be on Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. The psalmist says in Psalm 1, he said, where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth is in charge of everything. The Bible says, in whom all things consist. So rest in God. The psalmist says, he prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemy. That means keep shining. Keep raining. Don't be a chicken. He has made you to be so like eagles. Even in the face of the storm, you keep soaring because your confidence is in God. He's taking you somewhere. Don't chicken out. Get to destination. For he who began a good work in you is faithful to complete it. Philippians 1 and 6. Declare with your own mouth that I can do what God says I can do. Hallelujah. Prophesy with your mouth that I will do it. The Bible says we, we decree a thing and it's established. Pronam make pronunciation. Assure yourself that I have him with me, the God of gods and the King of kings. Don't be afraid. You may not know how, you may not know when. You'll do it again. If he did for A, he can do for you. If he shielded 
Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in a very bad situation. They were going to be thrown in funny so far. And they said, well, carry on. They were confident because they knew their God. Same thing Daniel. In the lion's den, he was confident. So sleep and sleep in peace. Because the Bible says it gives his beloved sleep. No evil formed against you shall prosper. The Bible says every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. That is who God has made you an overcomer. I enjoy you. Don't settle for less. Keep raining, keep shining. Be confident. You are very well fortified. Holding on to Jesus. There is no help anywhere else or in Him. Thank you for watching and maintain your composure. God bless. Thank you.